justice, but I go in peace. I, Schaefer Cox, declare all past action to be based in fraud, and as such void from inception. I, Schaefer Cox, order all parties to cease and desist immediately. Any men or women who continue, now that's very important word there, men or women, I'm talking about the individuals that actually do it, not just entities that may authorize or back or pretend, whatever, the men and women. Personal responsibility, personal liability, that's what the Nuremberg trials were all about. I'm getting off my notes here, but that's of paramount relevance. Any men and women who continue to act against me and mine without first establishing lawful power and jurisdiction by clear and unquestionable authority of law will be presumed criminals engaged in criminal activity with intent to do harm and dealt with as such. So that's the end of my notes here. And I just want to sum it up with one brief word, and I really uh, appreciate you. And, and uh, you know, Fairbanks is a small town, and we're all neighbors. You know, and I see you on the marathon, and I see you in Fred Meyer, and I see Scott around town, and there is no reason that we can't all live uh, in peace and harmony together. And quite frankly, there's a lot of people out there that would, and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this on the record because I know I, I might as well be pleased, honest and forthright. There's a lot of people out there that would just as soon come and kill you in your home at night then come and argue with you in your court by day. And that is just as bad and wrong as um, pretended governments or governments that are acting outside of the law or, or in contradiction of the universal principles of right and wrong of the universe that would do us harm. And we're coming to a boiling point in Fairbanks where people who are, are desperate and feeling backed into a corner are, are getting ready to grasp at options that they shouldn't be grasping at. And my goal, my, my calling, is to try to facilitate a peaceful coexistence between you and yours and me and mine. And on that note, there, I don't really think that there is a you and yours and me and mine. We're all just human beings, and nobody has a right to do harm to, a, to another person, and everybody has the right to, to defend themselves. So with all this being said, you can, you know, Scott can refute this, um, you can refute this, but you need to do it with evidence. You can't just say, oh, well, poppycock, you're an idiot, and this is how we've always done it. Well, I might agree with you on both fronts. I'm an idiot, and this is how you've always done it. But being an idiot isn't, isn't criminal activity, and, and doing it this way always is criminal activity. So answer this with facts and with evidence, and with clear and unquestionable authority of law, or be treated like pirates. Now, if that's what if that's what it is, if it is piracy, then we need to know that. But we need to we need to work towards. Let me turn that off. We need to work towards peace, and we need to work towards reconciliation, because wars, once they're started, are very hard to stop. Now, slavery is entirely intolerable. And that is off the, off the table, not even a question, to live, you know, bowing the knee to another human being. But a close second as far as horrificness to slavery is war. And we don't want that either. Now this is just my personal opinion and from someone who I know and, and believe it or not, admire you in a lot of ways. Too many people know the cat's out of the bag, the, the game is up, and we can continue on pretending, and that will just make people more mad, it will make my job of trying to hold back the lynch mob harder, or we can let it go and make our next make our next move be finding a way to peacefully go, coexist, where people are not being rambunctious and rowdy. I'm not advocating for, for chaos or lawlessness. Nobody is. But lawlessness is what we've got right now. It's lawlessness with a rigid law. And I don't want that. So this is like super horrifying to come in here, you know, before the world's greatest superpower and say all this stuff as just one, one guy in his 20s. But you know what? Right prevails. And that which is congruent with the supreme judge of the universe can withstand major stresses and take any force that comes at it. And that which is not based in that crumbles. And so that gives me a tremendous confidence 
So like I said, you know, I can be a little bit scared right now, but, the, you know, Roman law is based on people being scared. And if I, and I've gotten over that. You know, these guys could tase me and break my body, and uh, they, can, they can do all that stuff with chains and bars. They can break my body, but they can never break my soul. And so long as my soul is not broken, there will be a never-ending supply of bodies to carry the torch and to fight this cause. Now, we can spill a lot of blood, and there will be blood running in the streets, and frankly, people like you and me are going to be the first ones to go in the, in the wave of, of insanity that has no need to take place. Or we can work to be friends. And let me just, one final note on the feds, because they've sent a team up here to try to instigate it, you know, to provoke an incident and get, you know, us shooting you guys and to start a big shootout. And those trigger-happy cowboys from the feds are no different than the trigger-happy cowboys that we have to kick out of the militia because all they want to do is get in a shootout. And that's both of those groups. The, the federal agents that came up here from Colorado and the guys that are just looking for a fight that want to join up in the militia need to be sent packing because that has no place in a, in a society of adults where they can live by mutual respect. So, that's what, what I'm offering, that's what I'm wanting, that's what all of these people, that's what thousands of people that have rallied around this cause are wanting, and that's what we're making an offer for. But, you know, your conduct will be uh, your answer. And Scott, if I hadn't been so busy, I got you flowers and chocolates, and I would drop them off at your office. Um, that, is, uh, that is all I had to say, and... Uh, with that, I'm not interested or uh, willing or consenting in any way to uh, talk about anything before we have thoroughly settled the matter of who you are and, and, and the, the uh, questions brought up in this. Now, if you don't want to bring that up, I'll just walk out of here and we can deal with it later um, and keep negotiating towards peace. I'm working with the troopers and everything like that to keep a peaceful tranquility, domestic, ensure domestic tranquility, you know. Uh, but if you do want to talk about this, and you've got some evidence instead of just, uh, you know, uh, assertions that are taught, I am very open to being corrected or, or uh, uh, shown my error, but it needs to be evidence, not just uh, assertion through words. Um, that's you. all. Thank you, Mr. Appreciate Bob. it. Mr. Cox? Yeah. Please do something else. Well, would you, 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 I'm assuming you'd like a copy of this. I heard it. Okay. Oh, well, you'll need to reference it in the future because I think yes. it's going to continue to escalate. 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 You're welcome to uh, hand it to Sergeant Schoenberg. He'll be yeah. glad to bring it forward. Stop. Yeah. All right. Stop. Mr. Cox. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I have read what you submitted earlier. I have read, heard what you said today. The court continues your presumption of innocence, which you were advised of at the beginning, and you have every opportunity to continue to expect the state to prove you're guilty beyond a reasonable doubt to a jury before you can be convicted of anything. I absolutely agree at this time that you are innocent. And you remain that way until such time yeah, as you are found guilty. Calendar call is 8.15 on the 15th, and at that time your trial date will be set. I understand that you intend to appear in your own behalf, and as long as you continue to be respectful, which you always have been, that will be just fine. So we'll see you next week, and I think that takes care of everything we need to do today. Thank you, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. That did not address. I, if I get an invitation for next week, I'm going to treat it like an invitation to a Tupperware party. Be okay, well, I won't be here. I won't be here. Just if he's not going to appear, I'd ask that they'll be revoked now. Oh, my goodness. For the record, if you can put this on there, the. Uh, I will it's appear in the court identifies who they are. That doesn't mean that they're not going on the record. By law.
Don't go on record. She already ended it. Okay. That's okay.